one of Rosemont's most desirable streets, we've got our newest listing, 52 Roseview Drive Northwest. And trust me, this one's gonna blow your mind. Now guys, right before we head on inside, let's take a minute to admire the exterior of this home. You got the beautiful contrast between the two-tone panels, the nice big gables up top, the rear in 52, the light fixtures, the big windows, I could go on and on. But let's go check out the inside. Now stepping foot inside, you're greeted to a really bold entry. You got soaring 18 foot ceilings, the centralized glass staircase with those black accents, right off your office area, which we'll go check out first. Now this office comes complete with a desk area, finished off with lots of storage, a quartz counter and shelves right above. Now the builders wanted to give this room a really cozy vibe, which is why we opted to include a halogen light fixture instead of pod lights. But if you're the person that loves light, we also included this massive patio door that lets in not only lots of natural light, but is also a private access to your front porch. Now before I show you guys the main living space, adjacent to the office we just looked at, you get a powder room and a big laundry room with lots of storage. And now we enter into this. Guys, I don't even know where to start. You get a living room, wine cellar, dining room, kitchen, mudroom, butler's pantry, and even a master bedroom. Now let's just start off here, the place where a lot of people spend most of their time, even if they don't know how to cook. I mean, check it out. This kitchen looks like it's straight out of a magazine. You get a 12 foot island, beautiful pendants right above, high end stainless steel appliances. I'll let B-roll do the work. Now one of the features you can't miss is this huge Sub-Zero fridge. Now if you stay hungry like me, this has more than enough space to store anything you want. Now for all the home cooks or anyone learning how to cook, I know you can appreciate this six burner gas stove top. Also finished off with a pot filler and this high end hood fan. Now adjacent to this, you also get a barn style sink, a dishwasher and loads of storage. Now storage, arguably one of the most important parts of a kitchen. Now aside from all the millwork that's over here, you also get a huge butler's pantry right over here. Now I can really appreciate a space like this. You obviously get your custom cabinetry, then you also get a countertop with outlets for a coffee machine. And right above that, you get floating shelves to display all of your cereal collection. Cinnamon toast, anyone? Now the reason this is called a butler's pantry is because it's connected to your mudroom area, giving you that extra convenience to offload those groceries only steps from your garage. Now this property features over a 7,000 square foot lot and we made sure to use it effectively, starting off with the oversized garage that can fit up to three vehicles. Now right off the garage entry, we have this nice cement pad that can lead you directly into your mudroom or right over here where you can have a nice fire pit or potentially even a hot tub. Now for entertaining, nothing really beats an open concept, but they do have to be done correctly, just like this dining room over here. You're only steps from your coffee bar, a custom wine rack, but nothing beats this. Now how nice is this? Right off your dining room, you can stuff foot onto your deck, perfect for those family barbecues. Now in this space, you don't have to worry about Calgary's bipolar weather, because right above you, you get this nice vaulted ceiling to shield you from the rain, snow, or anything else you could imagine. Plus, to complete it off, you also get built-in speakers. Now no main floor is complete without its living room and you get a generous sized living space here. You got this entertainment unit finished off with a slot wall, an electric fireplace and lots of storage beside. Now moving into the primary suite, you get this nice open hallway completed with more custom storage. Just check this space out. It's got a nice big window letting in lots of natural light, a large enough space to fit a king size bed, a walk-in closet and a four piece ensuite. Now let's go take a look upstairs. Now the primary suite that Amit showed you guys was impressive. However, this one takes it to a whole nother level. This primary suite is no short of detail. You've got a feature wall, custom built-in bench, and wow, you've got views. 
Now what makes this five piece ensuite really pop? I love the dual vanity with lots of storage space underneath. You've got your soaker tub overlooking those same gorgeous views. I really like the tile work in the stand-up shower, but my favorite part is once you're done getting ready and you're finally ready to get dressed, you've got your very own walk-in closet with plenty of storage space. The top floor is finished with a four-piece shared bathroom. We've got an additional bedroom and you cannot miss the spacious entertainment nook. Within the entertainment nook, you've got floating shelves, quartz countertops, and I can't help but admire this wall of windows paired with this stunning gold chandelier. Alright guys, welcome to the lower living space. Now if everything up there wasn't enough, it gets even better down here. You get this wide open wet bar area finished off with a sink, wine storage, wine fridge, and even floating shelves. Now if you have kids, this is the perfect space for them. You want to keep the noise away from the guests, they get their very own rec room space finished off with an electric fireplace and a wall TV mount. Basement bedrooms tend to lack a lot of space and functionality, but there's no shortage of that here. We got two closets to hang clothes, as well as this workspace area. Now, because this home is so large, the builders opted to include not one, but two furnaces to ensure there's ample heat going throughout the entire space. Now guys, that wraps up our tour here at 52 Roseview Drive. I know this was a long one, but if you stuck around this far, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want a private tour of this property right here, our contact information is linked just below. We'll see you at the next one.